Hill House is the latest spook to be freaking out the good people of Netflix. Old, big, and terrifying, Hill House is your classic haunted mansion tale. And a tale is exactly what it is. But what if it was real? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that is indulging in some good, honest, seasonal horror. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and today I'm asking, what if Hill House was real? Before we get into this onslaught of a literal slaughter, leave me a comment and let me know if you have seen the Netflix show, and also what you would do if you found out your house was haunted. Honestly, I recently had a really creepy house experience in Beamsville, Ontario, but that is a different story for a different day. While you're down there, why don't you leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend, and if you guys want to connect with me on social media, there is a link to my Instagram in the description box. So. Hill House. The Netflix series has been surprisingly vague on the house's history, which maybe would be something we would get from a season 2 if that were to happen. We know that the series we are talking about has deviated somewhat from the 1959 Shirley Jackson book it is based on, but even then, the past of the house is discussed much less than the inhabitants reaction to it. What we do know is that the house is a mansion at the bottom of a hill, and that those who live there appear to be profoundly affected by the building. If Hill House were real, I would say that I would judge the Crane family for moving there. Olivia and Hugh are professional renovators in the narrative, so surely they would have had the place surveyed before they moved in. Wouldn't they then have found out about the red room? Wouldn't a locked room with no key be a cause for concern? Like, hello? I would also put some of the family's experiences down to a gas leak in the house, sending them all a bit mad, which also could have been something picked up in a survey. Perhaps the history of the house was not public knowledge, perhaps it really is haunted. Nonetheless, a mystery room in a spooky old home would be enough for me to give the property some lifelong space. The Hill House Red Room would be a total cause for fascination if it were real. A room that changes depending on who visits it is kind of like a spooky room of requirement in Harry Potter. How does this even work? What does this mean for the laws of physics as we know them? Should we be sending people in to study it? Would they too be sucked in by the house? Perhaps not if we chose mentally stable people. That's the thing, really, isn't it? The house has a different effect on people depending on their mental stability. Perhaps if more susceptible members of the Crane family did some meditation and got some therapy, they would have been A-OK. -okay. Did anyone try ignoring the mind game of the house? Would that even work? One thing is for sure, if the house was real, you wouldn't want to touch anything already there. When Luke steals the bowler hat, he is haunted for the rest of his life. Is that what you want? No. I would say if Hill House existed and you realised it was messing with you and was generally a menace, you could try and off it, for example burning it down, hoping that its bricks and all of its evil would go up in flames, but Luke tries that in the Netflix series and the house will not burn. Who knew ghosts were so flame resistant? Can we harness this? Maybe ordinary fire wouldn't do the job, but what if we nuked Hill House? Ah, if that doesn't sound like a life's biggest question title, I am not sure what does. But to be honest, what if nuking it didn't work? What if that made it worse? Would we then get ghosts that are somehow nuclear? Is that a thing? Who knows? Basically, the house always wins, doesn't it? The people within reach of its thrall are at its mercy. Honestly, if Hill House was real, I feel like we would simply need more information on its history to know what to do with it and how to deal with it. This psychopathic flapper met a tall guy and they had kids, but that didn't go so well. Who is the old lady in the bed? In order to expunge the house of its demonic core, we would simply need to know what the heck happened to piss off the house so much. We need Ed and Lorraine Warren on the case, but unfortunately Ed is dead and Lorraine is 91 years old. Either way, if the house are real, paranormal investigations would be a must. Maybe even a priest for an exorcism. If all else failed, I think the best course of action is to just shut the house up, board up the surroundings and leave it to rot. Hill House may not be real, but there have been many so called haunted houses in history. For example, Amityville. Circling back to the Warrens, they investigated what was claimed to be the most haunted house in the world during the 1970s. The house was said to have caused all kinds of horror, but was exercised by the Warrens and still stands in Long Island today. Maybe we should be speaking to the most recent occupants of the house and see how that's going for them. So guys, what if Hill House was real? Well, all of the horrors that you know and love from classic scary stories would be real too. But I wouldn't worry, because they're not. But to be honest, maybe just to be safe, you should steer clear of 
old creepy mansions with a sketchy past and a mystery room. Just an idea. So guys, what would you do if Hill House was real? And do you believe in ghosts? What would you do if you found out your house was haunted? Once again, do let me know all of that in the comments section down below. And if you have any suggestions for future Life's Biggest Questions videos, we would love to hear them. Also, while you're down there, why don't you guys leave a big thumbs up and share this video with a friend. For now, I'm going to go watch something not haunted on Netflix because honestly, I'm really creeped out. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning.